Right, okay, it's time for the second of the bonus campaign objectives. This time we're going to be Nth Dimension, and we're going to hack the, the Department of Motor Vehicles, or the Motor Vehicle Association here, and we're going to take our road test appointment, and we're going to, uh, we're going to move it, because he wants it to be sooner. Uh, so, the first thing that you have to do is we have to get to file 200, which is where all of the, the schedule is being held. Uh, but in order to enter the storage, we have to skip the line of the tickets. So there's a line of execution agents, a execution agents that are holding tickets here. Uh, what we have to do is we have to kill each of these five that are in line. It's always five in line. Uh, and they will be holding ticket numbers, which I believe are anywhere between 200 and uh, 299. So what we do is we have XB is the one in charge of clearing the line. He's going to jump over. He's going to kill the five agents that are standing in line, and then he's going to start looping, iterating from 200 up, and then he's going to clone himself of a clone that'll go from the reverse. So that'll go from 299 down. Uh, so you see Repl reverse looper here. He starts at 300 and then he's going to start at 200. And what the two of them are doing is they have a count. So he's starting at 200. He's starting at 300. And then they'll Repl or they'll they'll copy a clone that's going to try and grab a file with that ID. So the, one of them is going to try and grab 200. And one of them is going to try and grab 300. I shouldn't have looped there. I shouldn't have clicked there. Uh, so they're going to try, since those don't exist, they're both going to air out and die. Then they're going to try 201 and 299, then 202 and 298, and can, so on and so forth. Uh, both of them are going to be iterating. I created two of them because this is honestly where the bulk of the time cost in this job is. So two of them, one for, starting from the bottom, one of them starting from the top to cut the time down in half. Uh, we will eventually get one. So if the one that's iterating up finds it, uh, then he's just going to quickly, let's see, should be this one. Okay, so he's got it. And he's just going to run a kill command a couple of times. He does it three times just uh, in case there's a clone, another clone that pops up. So I run three kills and then he knows that he's holding the, uh, the ticket number. So he's going to write it into the next uh, and then that'll open up storage and then he's going to be done. One thing to note is that if you... Uh, if you write the wrong ticket number into the next, you will uh, set off an alarm, basically, and you'll fail the leave no trace requirement. So you have to find the lowest ticket number. Uh, if the guy who was iterating downward found a ticket first, he would have executed the kills and then would have dropped his and grabbed the file that was uh, one, two, three, four lower than the one he has. Uh, let's see, where is he, his code? Yeah, sub I X four X to, to it decrement his counter by four. So he actually grabs the lower number file and then copies that into the next. So the end result is once XB is done, uh, it had, we have opened up the path of storage. So then we signal to XA, go for it. XA is going to head over into storage and grab file 200, which has the appointments. Now we can take a look at this file. Uh, Nth Dimension's real name is William Kapoor. Uh, he is taking a test, but he wants the test to happen uh today i believe it's today yeah so what we are going to do we have a date register here that's going to tell us what the what the current date is uh since william kapoor is at the end of this one i don't think he always is so the step one is going to be finding william kapoor's uh driving test uh his first one so we skip to the end of the file and we jump backwards uh, in increments of like four, pretty much. So we check, we're checking the names. We're looking for William Kapoor. We already have his name stored in our X from file 300 at the beginning. So once we find William, in this case, we find him immediately. Uh, what we'll do is we will replicate a clone. And this is guy is just gonna hold, uh, is just going to hold the, the the name William Kapoor and he's going to hold the word test because we'll also need that because there are also renews as well and we want to make sure that when we insert William Kapoor's record into the schedule that we actually grab a test and not a, a renew. 
So now that we have William Kapoor in here, what Execution Agent A is going to do is is going to iterate up the dates here and check and try and find the first one that is today. So the, it is not the 12th, so we'll jump back. Um, and we're going to actually copy it down. So because we're basically shifting William Kapoor down or shifting him up in the list, because we can't insert in the middle of a file anywhere, we're going to have to shift everything down. So what I do first is I copy the date and the name and I paste those in. So you'll see I copy the, the, na the date, which won't always be the same. And then I copy the name in. Uh, oh, sorry. There is a there's a quick test for the, the top of the file. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then we copy in the name. There you go. Then we can go and grab either test or renew and copy that in, which we do. And then we jump and we check the, check the next case. So now we're going to check this date. This is not today. So we're going to grab Hector Wood and we're going to copy Hector Wood to the to the line below. And then we'll jump back. We'll check Ian Edwards. And that is not the correct date either so we'll shift him down and we'll keep going i don't remember what the current date is in the game it might be the seventh so we'll keep going we're shifting things down we're going to copy trevor shaw down copy renew over and now here we go i believe that the seventh is the first actual date uh so what we'll do now is we know that this is where we want to insert uh William Kapoor's. Basically on the line below is where we want to insert William's appointment. So once we recognize that we've hit the first thing that is actually today, uh, we will copy in today's date into there. We're going to put William's name, which is being held by this spare execution agent, and then the word test as well. The guy who's holding it is done, and the guy who's writing it is also done because we've put William Kapoor in where he belongs and everybody's been shifted down. Easy enough. Now then, uh, there's one case that we need to talk about specifically, and conveniently, the second test case will hit the nose on the head. You'll notice that the dates, if today's date in this mission is 0507, you'll notice that there is no 05 for us to find here. So what we have to do, and let me, let me go to here. Okay. So we found William. He was he was not at the bottom of the file this time. So you do have to search up the file to find William. Uh, what we do when we're when we're thinking about shifting things down is we actually check to see if the name that we're overwriting is the same as the name that we're currently holding. So I'm holding Mason. Mason Wynn is who we're copying down. I do a quick check to make sure that I'm not already copying over Mason Wynn, uh, and there's a reason for that. So I'm gonna cop I'm gonna let this run until we've copied everybody down. We got Ian moved down. We're gonna move Maya down, and we're not gonna move the word test over. Okay, now here we're at the next case. Now notice that uh, because the current date is 0507, not 0508, we need to be putting William's name at the top of the list because there are no today date uh, appointments for us to be going. Uh, after we have to be at the top of the list now uh, so to detect that we're at the top of the list what I do is because we check the date it's not the date we're looking for uh, I copy the date and the name with the intention of copying them down to the next line as I usually do but before I do that I take a quick look at the name that is uh, being copied over and you'll notice that I'm holding the name Maya Olson and I'm copying over the name Maya Olson. So I've detected that we are in the start case. We are in, we are at the beginning of the file because if I don't do a check like this, I'm just going to end up constantly copying Maya Olson over indefinitely in an infinite loop because I'm never going to find an entry in here that is today's date. But I have recognized that I'm trying to copy over a name that I've already copied over. I'm going off the assumption that a person does not have the two appointments in this file which I guess is a safe, uh, safe assumption to make. Uh, so we've detected that we're in the start case. So we're going to go over here and we're just going to go to the beginning of the file and we're going to just copy in today's date, William's name, and the fact that he's taking a test. And there you have it. Uh, we'll let that run through. That one's pretty fast. 
And there you have it. William will be taking his driver's test. Let's hope that he passes it legitimately and doesn't have to, to hack his, uh, his pass or fail of the exam as well, because uh, that would be pretty bad.